Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here with Antonelli Softball. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so this is Tennessee, Florida State, and it's a swinging bunt that's hit basically right in front of the catcher towards the third baseline. Third baseman's going to charge the ball here. The ball's going to be almost stopped, and the third baseman is going to pick this ball up barehanded and make the quick throw for the out. All right, so I just want to show this really quick. I think it's I think it's really important, um, not just for for bunts or swinging bunts, um, but this also comes into play on a bobbled ball. Um, this comes into play on a block by the catcher. There's a bunch of different ways that this play will will happen, uh, but the key is if the ball is not really rolling. So let's say it comes up, you know, hits off your glove and, and bounces in front of you and the ball's basically stopped or again it's a it's a bunt or maybe a swinging bunt if the ball is basically stopped or it is stopped we want to pick the ball up with our bare hand right so this play is a very close play right here the runner is out by basically you know, half a step right and so if we pick this ball up with our glove and then have to transfer the runner's probably safe, right? And and I see this, the most times that I see this play is, is probably on a ball that, again, is bobbled or the ball comes up and hits the infielder in the chest, bounces in front of them. They'll try to pick it up with their glove and then try to transfer and throw and the runner's safe, right? On a bang-bang play like this, again, where the ball's not going to be rolling very fast at all, Pick that up with your bare hand, quickly set, and throw. Again, anything more than that, probably safe. All right, so keep this in mind and watch for this. If you're a coach, just watch for this. Um, you'll see this happen a lot. And what, what I like to do at practice is, you know, you can actually do plays where, you know, again, you could, you could work on bunts or, or swinging bunts like this, but also work on, with fielders, I like to work on, you know, practicing picking up with our bare hand when we miss the ball. And so you can do it two ways. One, you can have the infielder just kind of feel the ball, but just kind of knock it down and put it in front of them, um, and then replay the ball with the bare hand. If you don't want to do that because you don't want to build in bad habits, you don't want to teach your infielders to miss balls, then what I'll do is I'll just have the, the infielder stand there, and I'll stand somewhere around them, and I'll just drop a ball over here or drop a ball over here, drop a ball behind them. And they've got to quickly react, find the ball, pick it up with their bare hand, and make the throw. So it's just another way to practice it and just kind of reinforce it. Um, because, again, if you don't practice it, it's going to be really hard for that to become second nature for an infielder, especially someone that always likes to go to their glove and doesn't like to pick up the ball with their bare hand. So... I was just watching this game, saw it, thought it'd be a, a helpful tip to any infielders, catchers, really any player in the field, any defensive player, and then also to coaches. So hopefully that helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Thanks again for watching, and we will talk to you later.